because uh, they knew Casey Jones was coming and uh, you had to be in the siding, you know, for his train to come through and and uh, you had to be in the clear if you wanted to clear. Then you had to Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I'm pretty impressed with how dead on the frequency calibration is between the IC705 and the IC7300. Both radios are set to the factory calibration. A few weeks ago, we installed the latest firmware update in the IC705. This time, we'll take a look at some enhancements this version made to the spectrum scope. I have my IC7300 set up along with the 705 so I can compare some of the scope functions. The reason I'm doing this is because, except for this one, I don't plan to produce any videos about how to use the IC705 spectrum scope. I'll provide more details in the segment, so let's get started. We've got the 705, and we've got the 7300, and we've got them stacked right next to each other here, so we can take a look at how similar or perhaps more than similar, the scopes are between the two radios. So the version firmware 1.2 on the 705 added a nice feature that's called scroll mode. And if you press and hold the center fix, and in scroll mode works either in fixed or center mode, it shows up here as scroll F. And just to show you, that works exactly the same way on the 7300. And what scroll mode does, and actually let me take it back out of scroll mode so we can illustrate. If you scroll off the screen, once you get outside of the fixed range of the scope, you don't see your frequency marker anymore showing where you're at and you just get these little arrows that show that it's that way so it's off the scope either on the right and if I were to go all the way down it would show two arrows over here off to the left and that's a little bit inconvenient if you're using fixed edges that don't cover your whole band or if you want to do shortwave listening or something like that so let me come back into the band here and if we press and hold the center fix for one second, we get the scroll. And I'll turn it back on up here just for illustration. Now, when we scroll off the edge, instead of showing the arrows, it scrolls the edges. And you'll notice the width is the same. It stays 7.3 to 7.6, and we were 300 kilohertz wide. Uh, originally, so it's nice I can use the 7300 one as my reference here, and it just scrolls up to match where you are, and then you start at the left, and if I, if I crank this all the way up here, and I go off the right edge of my new range, it'll just scroll again, and it just keeps scrolling, so it'll keep scrolling with you and it keeps the width the same. So if I did have a fixed width setting that was, for example, uh, 50 kilohertz wide or 100 kilohertz wide, that width would stay and it would just scroll the edges for me. Sorry, this, you know what? I could be smart and use the multi knob and scroll that way. Um, and then one other thing you'll notice, and I'll show you actually on the 7300, it does it the same on both. When you do scroll, if you watch the numbers here, it will make the numbers larger for just a second so you can see what the new edges are. Um, so that works the same on both radios. Now, if we take them out of scroll mode and we go to center mode, now in center mode, my frequency is always at the center of the scope and let's see do I have them both set to 50 so it's 100 kilohertz wide 50 above and 50 below and in center mode you can also go into scroll mode and if I press and hold it now says scroll C which just tells you it went from center mode 
and scroll C works pretty much the same way, except that my edges, you'll notice instead of saying plus 50 and minus 50, it's actually got a frequency listed there, which is 50 kilohertz up from where I am and 50 kilohertz down from where I am. So it just sets the scroll point based on where you are when you go into it. And then the scrolling works the same way. So the scroll mode works the same both in fixed and center. It's just a question of where you start from. So if I wanted to have a little bit more kind of even numbers there, if I tune to, let's say, 7200 exactly... And now I go into scroll mode. Well, now I go from 7150 to 7250. And it just it gives you a little bit more round number ranges if you want to do that. So, again, the scroll mode is same in fixed or centered, same on both radios. And um, that's, that's probably the major change on the spectrum scope with version 1.2 software on the 705 the one other change is the edge mode or the in in edge sorry when you're in fixed edge mode they've added one more edge preset so this is number four we did have three edge presets so the default and we're on 40 meters but the defaults are pretty much the same for all of the amateur bands so the first edge is the entire band. The second edge is the mostly the CW portion, the very lower edge here, so 7 megahertz to 7030. The next portion is, this kind of spans a little bit of CW and digital and into voice, but it's kind of the digital portion of the band. And then for the fourth edge, they just added a little bit bigger piece of the CW section of the band. And you can make these whatever you like. So those are the defaults. And that's the next thing that I want to point out here. So again, the, the scopes are 100% identical from everything I've been able to see. Uh, the two pages, the second page is the same. The, the way that you set the reference level is the same. And I know I haven't covered this on the 705 yet. Uh, speed and marker. I'll show you the marker really quickly. Marker turns on or off the transmit marker. So you see we've got green and brown here, and it turns on this little T. Uh, that shows you your transmit frequency. So if you were working in split mode or if you were up on 10, 6, or 2 meters working in duplex mode, then your brown line would be offset by what your trans to, to where your transmit frequency is. So it just shows you two markers instead of one. And all of these things uh, expand. They work the same. The display is a slightly different form factor on the 705, but otherwise everything about the scope is identical. Uh, and real quickly, I was, we'll go back to page one here, and I was going to show you on the edges, if you press and hold the set button, then that gives you the settings for the scope, and uh, fixed edges here is on page four, there's four pages of settings for the scope, and if I tap fixed edges, and we'll do the same up here, just so you can watch this in stereo. So you have fixed edge ranges, so 0.03 to 1.6, 1.6 to 2, and so on, and these go all the way up. Now here is one minor difference between the 705 and the 7300, is that, that those ranges stop at 74.8, and that's because the 7300 doesn't cover any higher than that. On the 705, the ranges go all the way up to the top of what the radio covers other than that they work identically so let's go back here and if we look at six to eight which is where 40 meters falls if we press and hold that then it shows you what the four fixed edges are so again these are the defaults the way that it comes programmed and if i wanted to 
change it, if I press and hold it, you'll see it says um, default. So you can set it back to default if you've changed it. If I just press it, it lets me change it to whatever I want. So let's say I'm working, you know, I mostly work sideband and I want it to be, uh, whoops, let me back up, 7150 to 7300. Oh, it uh, it won't let you, the, the one on the left has to be lower than the one on the right, so it didn't take my input on here. So let me set this one first to 7300, the top of the band. And let me set the lower portion to 7150. So now my fixed edge for this is there. And within these ranges, so you'll notice that this range is 6 to 8. If you do short wave listening, you can set it from 7.5 to 8 or, you know, or 6 to 7 if you, if you want to have a fixed edge programmed for some short wave portions of the band. So part of the reason for showing you that these two scopes are identical is that I have not covered scope operation for the 705 yet and what I'm going to suggest is that you go back and watch uh, I've got a series three-part series of videos on the 7300 that I did I don't know a year and a half ago and it's episodes or video numbers 17 18 and 19 I'll have links for those in the description for this video and rather than covering all the details of how the scope operates for the 705. I'm going to refer you to the scope settings and operation for the 7300 because they are, uh, again, except for some of the frequency coverage, they are 100% identical. The scope functions on these two radios are exactly the same. So that's it for the uh, uh, updates from 1.2 on this it's just those two items the scroll mode and the one extra fixed edge and then everything else if you'd like to learn about this scope go watch those 7300 videos and it will walk you through all of the different things that you can do with the scope that's all we're going to cover this time i should have mentioned in the segment that the scroll functionality was introduced in version 1.40 of the ic7300 firmware as I said in the segment, there are links in the description for the three videos that cover everything about the Spectrum Scope operation. Those videos were made before these latest firmware versions. However, all the functions covered in those videos have remained the same. The bonus is that if you have an IC7300, or if you're thinking about getting one, you'll be fully up to speed on the Spectrum Scope operation for that radio too. In addition to the video links, you'll find a link for a to z.tech. That's the companion website for this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You will want to click on the bell icon to be notified about new videos when they come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham cured smoke.